I'm not weak. And I'm not a coward. What's going on, everybody? This is Sean with Strangeland Oddities, and we are at the first Sonoy annual summer dead bash with Irony Singleton. Yes, I'm checking out your tats there, brother. I'm good. Hi, hey, everybody. How are you doing? Good, good to see you all. Good to be seen. I am uh, very colorful. Nice. Today. Yeah, man. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. So how does it feel being a part of this first Sonoy? Oh, man. It's, it's like, wow, I'm the first again because I was what? I'm a part of the originals. So now I get to be the first again. I feel kind of special. <laughs> this is um, this is great. This is where it all began. Yeah. Kind of, sort of, because it, it started in Atlanta. But this is the home base now, Sonoya. And so many great things have happened because of the show. Exactly. And so for this to be the first bash here, I'm hoping that there will be another hundred bashes to follow, but this is a special moment, because I would say. Number one. Number one. Numero uno. Uno. <laughs> now, the fans love you. I love them. You know, it, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, it, it was a shame that your character had to get killed off. I know, you know, I was like, man, why didn't I get cast for Friends or Seinfeld <laughs> or something? But. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it had to be the walking dead and um people die on the walking dead and uh but uh it, it was to to uh propel the show forward and at least that's what the executive told me but no <laughs> no just kidding no it was now th here's the cool thing about it sean is that when i was cast for the show i was told that i would work two maybe three episodes but I ended up going into season three. Exactly. So it was quite a blessing, a tremendous blessing that could have only come from one place or every place I should say from God. So, and God is ubiquitous. So uh, that, that is a blessing. So I tend to look at the cup as being half full as opposed to half empty. Cause a lot of people say, man, why did T-Dog die? He died too soon. Not really. T-Dog was supposed to die during the Vatos episode or before that during season one. That's so, right. Yeah. Now, I know that you have a book that you're working on. Yes, but thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Nice plug, brother. Nice plug. Nice oh, cop. <laughs> I, I got you, man. You got good. Very nice. Uh, it's called Blindsided by the Walking Dead, and it's symbolic of my journey here on Earth. It's a pun also. It's my two biggest projects. Of course, you know The Walking Dead, and the other being The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock. She won the Oscar for it, and I combined those two to kind of tell my life story. I sum it up um, ta by talking about how I grew up destitute in a housing project in the inner city of Atlanta. So I'm here, I'm from here, and I was shooting in my backyard. So it was, it was amazing, it was surreal to just be in the environment where I grew up where years prior to, just prior to, I was ducking and dodging bullets, literally. Um, I sold drugs and I, don't, don't do that, don't, yeah, say no to drugs. Say no to <laughs> drugs. <laughs> yeah, say no to drugs, and all of you out there. But I, I became a product of my environment. I saw a lot of that, so I became that. I grew up in a household with literally hustlers, gangsters, pimps, pushers, you name it. And I was the youngest of all the boys in the family. And so I saw it, and I just kind of emulated that. And I lost my mother at age of 18 from HIV complications, uh, AIDS, and my brother in and out of jail for uh, the, the better part of his life is 20 plus years and he's been out and clean for the last two three years or so so that's a blessing thank you God and my father I didn't have him in my life I saw him two times but by the uh, grace of God I ended up at the University of Georgia go dogs sick em. where you from uh, I was born in Florida oh, oh okay well I was gonna <laughs> oh you're oh you're a bulldog ah yes I love it but you're a gator uh, actually, I'm not a Florida fan. You're not a Florida fan? No. My kind of guy, I love you, Sean, even more actually, so now. Actually, you won't because... Uh-oh. Don't do it. My father was a Patriots fan. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Remind me not to ever meet him then. I, no, <laughs> no, but that's fine. I'm still healing from that loss. My Falcons, Patriots, but I have to give it up for Brady, Tom. He's the best quarterback to ever do it. I got to give it up to him. I didn't want to give it up to him until he came back from that 28-3 deficit 
And I was like, you got to give that man his props. Greatest Super Bowl. The greatest, history. greatest quarterback to play the game. Man, he's incredible. Um, but anyway, so I, I overcame all of those, um, you know, tragedies uh, to end up there playing ball. And I majored in theater, speech communications. And I graduated and ended up in Atlanta for a moment before I went to L.A. Did a whole bunch of community theater. And I did... Um, uh, low budget projects, indie projects, and brought me back to Atlanta where I did my one man show called Blindsided by The Walking Dead. And that is what led to my opportunity on The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock, which led to The Walking Dead. But that's basically what I talk about in my book. Nice. Yeah. Now, I also hear that you're opening up a school. Yeah. Who told? I do, I do my you. homework. <laughs> right. Jazz is like, huh? Who said that? That's great. Irony School of the Arts, ISA, everything. My whole life is about truth and love. That's my journey. When my mother died, I found myself on my knees not wanting to live anymore. I wanted to give up. I wanted to quit. I had gone through so much of my life. I was like, I just can't do it anymore. I had dealt with verbal and physical abuse at the hands of the woman I loved the most, and that was my mom. And, uh, and I was like, I, I'm tired. I was, I was, I wanted to tap out. Did that affect Mike? It didn't. No. Okay. <laughs> So I asked God while I was on my knees, I said, show me a sign. I said, you know, because I don't want to be here anymore. Show me the light. And at that time, a car came around the, uh, the corner on the street where I lived, and his headlights shone through my window and reflected off my wall, and it just lit up my whole room. And it was like, whoa, what is, what is happening right now? And that's when God spoke to me and told me why I was here and, and, and told me that in order for my mother's life to mean something, I have to give the world as much love and respect and appreciation as I can. That's my job first and foremost, and then everything else will fall into place. So first and foremost, I want to honor my mother and then the rest of humanity by just being and loving and caring because that helps. That's yes. a beautiful, people go through stuff in life oh, yeah. and it could only take something as simple as us giving them a hug or a smile or a handshake to change everything and it's like a ripple effect right yep. because that's our connection with one with one another we're connected to each other so if i smile to you then you go and you pass a smile along it you never know how it might change somebody's world their life their life so um and i can see how the fans react when you do that i just it's and that's and that's it it's like i'm living to please god i said no matter what if I can't do that, then I don't want to be here anymore. I don't care to be here. I'm, it's over. There's no reason for me to continue on this earth. It's time to move on. So when I'm gone, when I'm dead and gone, I want to get to the pearly gates and I want God to be like, hey, okay, there you are. You made it. Come on. As opposed to saying, what you doing here? What you want? <laughs> so I don't want that, Sean. I want to get that first reaction, brother. So Well, you've done a complete 360. It's amazing. I had a moment outside, you know, when I was meeting and greeting, and I was telling people about how I have my moments when I'm driving home and I just get emotional. And I think about this mental shift. It's not just a physical shift, though. It's the mental shift was the toughest thing of my life because I had taken in so much garbage and negativity, so I had developed a certain mindset. And... I knew because God told me that in order for you to be a better person, in order for you to do what I have ordained for you to do in this life, you have to change your mindset. And that was so tough because it was, it, it, it was, it was a tough, let me just, let me, let me just keep it at that. Uh, wow. wow. And final question before we go, um, I was doing, you know, the Walker, the Walker Stalker cruise uh, for six minutes, yeah. and you were on there. Yeah. Um, any thoughts on going to the last Walker Stalker cruise? Yeah, six man, come on. Um, I want to do that cruise. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Six man. six man let's make that happen yeah i had i had a lot of fun even with all the rocking and the water was very turbulent right did yes, you get sick oh you didn't get sick no i luckily i did not get sick man, i didn't get sick either but my wife and my three kids got sick they were I saw all a lot of people in the photo op lines throwing up in bags it was yeah that was bad but they still a lot of people they still had a good time yes they did yeah and this tour is going to nassau so that's pretty cool the water is not as bad i heard right going over to nassau so awesome. yeah well, I do thank you taking the time out of your busy schedule. I mean, you were swamped out there. Um, You're not going to wrap this up, are you? I want to do this the, the rest of the night. Let's, I mean, you and I, let's just talk. All right. <laughs> we, we, we can sit here and kick it, man. 
<laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this is Sean with Strangeland Oddities, and we are at the first annual, first, first, number first one, number annual one. Sonoy Summer Dead Bash. Numero uno. And any last words for your fans? I love you guys. Thank you for all the support over the years. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And if you've met me, you know how much I appreciate you. Let's love each other. It's free. It doesn't cost a penny to love each other and make the world a better place. That's what it's all about. That's our journey in this life. That's my journey. I'm Irony and I'm out.